previous episode we did this game where you could move a blue square around. Now we're going to make this run on real PlayStation. And it's actually really simple, I've boiled a lot of it down, so I actually just have to run a batch file and that should generate an ISO or an ISO or whatever you call it file, a disk image. And then you can burn that image to a disk and then you can play it on your PlayStation. You'll need to have a modded PlayStation or you can use the disk swap trick, but I'll get into that later. So for now, let's uh, download this file here, the cd-rom.zip and uh, you want to extract it of course. You want to drag this file, this folder, into the current project. So this is the tutorial project from the last time. I'm just going to drag it in here. So now I have it in here. Then I simply just go into the folder and click build ISO. It says your game has been built into an ISO file and the, uh, this number folder which is in the builds here. So you see, here's the build, and here's the game. It's be, it's ready to being burned into a disk. So I'm just going to grab a disk here. Wait a moment, I'm just going to find a disk. All right, so here I am with a disk. I'm inserting into my computer now. Um, what I want to do in this case is to install some software that can burn these kind of disk images. I know that Windows 10 can do it by default, but with this kind of disk image you can actually not, so you need some external tool. What I find uh, useful for that is a tool called Image Burn here. Um, so you can use that, but the image file is in the virtual machine, so you need to get it out of it. Uh, if you set the virtual machine up like I have with the... Uh, where is it? the uh, drag and drop, set that to bi-directional, bi then you can drag this thing onto your desktop and there you have it, now it's inside your other, your host machine. So I'm going to imburn here and I'm writing it to disk, I'm going to select the file, this is the file, uh, write speed set that to uh, 16x I am not sure why this is the case, but I've read that this should be the most compatible setting. Uh, I've never had any troubles with any other settings, but it should be the most compatible setting. So I'm going to burn it. And it's being burned. Notice that you cannot use a CD that has the rewrite capability. You need to use a CD that you can only write once, because the PlayStation is not able to read. Uh, rewritable CDs. So I'll switch to my phone, then you can see it actually work on the PlayStation. As you can see it works just fine. Here I have the controller and I'm able to move the box. So to make this even better I've made a game and uh, it's ready for you. It's on github, it's also on the description and uh, you can try to burn that game. It's a simple pong game for the PlayStation or you can make your own game and try to burn it. But uh, now you're able to burn. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode. To perform a disk swap, you will need an official PlayStation disk. Put your official disk in and switch on the console. Now, after a few seconds, the disk should start spinning at a